Welcome to another exciting edition of Where in Wilmington. Last month's mystery location lies just beyond this ticket window, so if you're looking for a wild time, I've got just the ticket for you. I'm telling you, it's a zoo in there. Not just any zoo, but Wilmington's own Brandywine Zoo, which has been entertaining and educating visitors of all ages for more than 100 years. The Brandywine Zoo is located in beautiful Brandywine Park at the intersections of North Park Drive and Van Buren Street. The zoo began in 1904, just 18 years after the city first began purchasing land for the creation of Brandywine Park. The zoo was managed largely by members of the Washington Heights Association, which represented the area behind the zoo, better known today as the Triangle Neighborhood. In 1905, the Washington Heights Association changed its name to the Wilmington Free Zoological Association, and the Wilmington Zoo was born. The Wilmington Zoo was renamed the Brandywine Zoo in 1971, when management shifted from the city of Wilmington to Newcastle County. Today, the zoo is managed by the Delaware Division of Parks and Recreation. As you would expect with such a long history, the Brandywine Zoo has undergone many changes over the years. Now this building I'm standing in front of is the Exotic Animal House and it's located in one of the oldest portions of the zoo. Now this building is one of the few original structures still standing and like the rest of the zoo it has a fascinating past. Believe it or not, this interesting building was originally a comfort station. Well that's a bathroom to you and me. Now in the 1920s it was converted into a monkey house and that's why this area behind us is known as Monkey Hill. Let's take a peek inside the Exotic Animal House while we're here. The Exotic Animal House is home to an exciting variety of inhabitants, including the zoo's prized population of marmosets and tamarins. You'll also find one very vocal toucan. Well, here we are inside the Exotic Animal House. And those of you that have visited this building in the past know why I'm tempted to keep this clothespin on my nose. Let's just say the aroma was a little overwhelming. But fear not, my friends, because recently the zoo installed an all-new ventilation system, so the air is much improved. So you can enjoy all the animals at a leisurely pace without having to run back outside for an occasional breath of fresh air. Uh, wait a minute. Paul, was that you? Thanks a lot, you animal. These three structures also date back to the early days of the zoo. And in fact, they held lions, tigers, and bears. Oh my! Today, the Brandywine Zoo covers almost 13 acres of land and houses 150 animals. While in earlier years, the zoo's collection consisted of a virtual hodgepodge of animals, today's holdings now focus exclusively on a North and South American and temperate Asian theme. North American animals include the beloved river otters, who enjoy playing in one of the largest and best designed habitats of its kind in the region. The zoo's South American inhabitants include the capybaras, the world's largest species of rodent, and they look remarkably similar to another rodent, the guinea pig. And finally, I'm standing outside the enclosure of the animal that best represents the zoo's Asian temperate theme, the Siberian tiger. Now, if you look in the background, you'll notice three round spears, which you should recognize from the Wear in Wilmington contest in the last episode of the show. These are boomer balls. They're specially constructed toys, they're indestructible, and they're made especially for zoo animals. The keepers try to enrich the quality of lives of the animals here by giving them toys and creating other interesting habitat features because everybody knows that a happy animal is a healthy animal. While enjoying a visit to the zoo, it's easy to overlook everything taking place behind the scenes to keep the animals healthy and thriving. The zoo employs five full-time and between four to six part-time zookeepers who attend to the daily needs of the animals. Welcome to the Animal Food Commissary. This is where zookeepers prepare meals for all of the zoo's residents. No easy task, considering that each of the 150 animals in the zoo have different dietary needs. I don't know about anybody else, but I'm really partial to these monkey biscuits. Mm. Oh, really good. 
In addition to being well balanced from a nutritional standpoint, the meals created in the commissary are very appetizing. Just look at the variety of colors and textures. Now, no visit to the Brandywine Zoo is complete without a stop here at the goat pen. This is the only place in the zoo that enables you to have a hands-on opportunity with an animal, like these beautiful goats here. I'd like you to meet my friend, Raphael. He reminds me of another old goat I know. This concludes our visit to Wilmington's own Brandywine Zoo. As always, tune in next time to Where in Wilmington when we continue to explore all the great places in our beautiful city. From Wilmington in the middle of it all, from the Brandywine Zoo, I'm Rich Newman.